Hi guys, so I'm sitting down, which is why I look so tiny. Do, 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 do. But today I'm doing an updated skincare routine, updated morning skincare routine because I realized on my channel, it's been like four or five months, it's been a minute. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna do pretty much what I do every single morning. And that will be that. You ready? Okay. So the first thing I do, I double cleanse. First cleanser I use is the low pH first cleansing milk gel from Cause RX. Oh, does that happen to anyone else? My hair always gets like wet or in the way. Okay, hold on. Also, forever wearing this sweatshirt, like <laughs> literally every day of my life. So, this is called a first cleansing milk gel. It's just really gentle. It smells very fresh, a little bit like, I don't know, minty almost. It's affordable. Um, I usually get mine from Soko Glam. And if I don't want to wait, I will get it from Amazon because <laughs> they have express shipping. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like 10 bucks, but I think it works really well. Again, it's pretty gentle. It just works to get all the junk off. Honestly, I am breaking out like one, two, three, four, five, six. Look, six cysts right now. Just, oh, seven. <laughs> Which is pretty unusual for me. And this is the same that I've always used. The, I had the name so long, I always have to read it. Acne clearing charcoal cleanser with probiotics. And this has 2% salicylic acid. This is from First Aid Beauty. And I really like this one because it doesn't like foam or get super frothy it doesn't make your skin feel like it's stripped i've used this for literally years now and it's one of the things that has really worked to improve my skin i think the combination of probiotics and salicylic acid is really what does it for me that's so weird i have literally like matching zits on either side why i don't know one thing you want to do when you're washing your face is wash it for at least 60 seconds and be very like intentional with it wake up your skin and let it know that you love it and you are loving on it don't just like wash super quick and then rinse off i used to do that and i found two things one taking my time and massaging it a little bit longer helps two using cold or you know medium temperature water I used to use like scalding water and I think that was like <laughs> really bad for my face but I didn't realize what I was doing. I just thought it felt good, you know? Again, I just woke up so I'm like not completely awake yet. I'm drinking a little bit of coffee. I'm gonna try maybe I stop drinking coffee and see what happens. I don't know. Anyways, so the next thing that I use Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel, and I have a video <laughs> literally dedicated to this, so I'm not gonna take too much time explaining it. It's just basically an at home acid peel. I like to use it in the morning. Um, I use it, I don't know, I would say at this point, pretty much like every other day, if not every day, I use it pretty often. Um, some people use it twice a day, which I don't think I need it that often, but it just will help with like acne scars, acne fine lines, um, hyperpigmentation, all that stuff. It's a little bit pricey, not gonna lie, but to me it's worth it. Worth every penny. So after you put it on, you just wait like two minutes and then there's a peel second step that kind of like neutralizes it. But I've definitely seen improvements in my skin using this. Use a little bit on your neck too. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna wait like two minutes. Okay, so now I'm using the second step again, which is a neutralizer. It's been about two minutes. My best friend actually <laughs> tried to get me to use these forever ago, and I was like, no, 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 I like my routine, like I'm fine, like I don't need it. And then after I started using it, I was like, 
why didn't you bug me more about this? Because these are literally so amazing. They just prep your skin perfectly for the rest of your skincare. And um, I know I just sponsored post on these, but this isn't sponsored right now. Like I literally legitimately love these and anything else I talk about that's sponsored. By the way, <laughs> a little passive aggressive there. Um, but yeah, I don't have to say this. I actually really just freaking love them a lot. Oh, see, I've also been eating like a lot of eggs recently. I'm pretty sure eggs break me out, but like, what other breakfast foods are there? Like avocado, smoothie, yogurt. I don't know. Like I've just, I've been trying to eat breakfast, but I think I'm eating too many eggs. So I'll have to figure something else out. Okay, the next thing I do, and I've again been using this for probably like four months, like or five months as soon as I made that skincare video, I switched it. Um, this is the Ice and Tree, Ice and Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner. Again, I get this from Soko Glam as well. And it's just like very, very hydrating. It has green tea from the Juju Islands. This isn't like an alcohol, and it smells so good. It isn't like an alcohol face toner or anything. It just feels really like calm and soothing on the skin. I know you're supposed to use your fingertips, but it's like way easier to use your palms sometimes. Um, yeah. I would say this is more of like, I don't know, an essence than a toner, but this really helps with, again, hydration, redness. Um, it helps with oil production too. And I really, really, really like this toner. I don't see me switching anytime soon because it's good. Then the next thing that I'll use, I'll do like a treatment step. So, I usually use Murad and Viviscar, or I'll use the Cosar X Snail Mucin Essence. Today I'm going to use the Snail Mucin Essence because I feel like my skin is a little bit more on the dry side. And honestly, my scars aren't really bothering me much right now. Um, this is amazing though. I mean, it has really high vitamin C. That's what works in it. And even before it starts working, it kind of like blurs the skin. So, yeah, looks good. Looks good. Um, where am I going with this? I don't know. Sometimes I'll use both, but I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the Cosrx Snail Mousse in today because my skin, again, it feels like really just kind of dry and irritated. And I do three pumps, again, because my skin is very dry. If you go like this, you can, ooh, see it, gross. A science experiment. Eating eggs, bruh. It sucks. It's like fast food breaks you out, ice cream breaks you out, and then healthy food breaks you out. Okay. I guess just give me like water and air then. Like, the fuck? Cool. Hey Google, play old Nikki. You're old Nikki, are you? Not sure. Oh. It's a song. I just wanted old Nicki Minaj. Okay. And then I'm doing a moisturizer, eye cream, SPF, <laughs> and then oil. So. Hey Google, set volume to 10%. How loud was it? It wasn't that loud, was it? Um, so I'm using the Banish Vitamin C Cream. I use this, I don't know, I'd say I use this pretty often. I use either the Vitamin C Cream or the Glow Recipe Pink Juice Watermelon Glow Moisturizer. Use about that much. I'm just gonna massage it in. Again, this is great. Everything Banish, Banish has changed my skin. Great for scars, great for acne. Um, at home microneedling, best thing I ever, ever, ever have done for my skin. Um, there we go. Any of the Banish products for yourself, you can use my discount code, it's code Cali. Um, I love Banish and I love that they also support like skin positivity. If you're into that sort of thing and you wanna see more acne babes represented, not just in beauty, but like in the media and normalize normal skin, it's important to 
um, purchase skincare from brands who are doing that, I think. You can vote with your dollar, basically. You get what I'm saying? So, Bad Friday Sea Cream, Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, Derma Roller, or if for them it's called like Banisher or Banisher 2.0. Vitamin C serum, which is very important, not just to prevent like the you know discoloration, but to actually reverse signs of aging. So again, code Cali, and you can check out all my progress or any of that on my Insta. So I'm still using the Super Goop Zinc Screen, which I like a lot, and this one's made specifically for acne-prone skin. I really like the tint on this. It's kind of like this nice well for me. It's like my skin tint. Um, but it's a mineral sunscreen. It doesn't have like that white cast, which is great. But it doesn't leave you like oily or greasy and I Really like this sunscreen. I use sunscreen all year round um, even when It's like winter out because um, So when I started using sunscreen it like completely changed my skin um, I used to get like scarring really bad and red redness like red spots like really really bad um it lasts for a really long time but if you use sunscreen every day it actually prevents the melanin from getting to like the topmost layer of the skin so the pigment won't be like as bright or harsh so in a way it helps hyperpigmentation um and it also just is really good for protecting your skin from any like signs of aging using sunscreen every single day I think it's like the most underrated skincare ingredient, honestly, and it's really, really, really important. Like acne or not, you have to find a sunscreen that works good for you. It is SPF 40. So the second to last <laughs> thing I do, I use eye cream, and I'm just trying to finish off this jar. I have a couple other ones I want to test out, but this is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, and use your ring finger and be just like very gentle with it. This one, um, I have very much noticed and I actually got like a little, a little on my brow bone too. Um, so for me, they don't really do anything for like bags I don't know, I haven't found an eye cream that does anything for bags, but this one actually does help dark circles, like 100%, because uh, I notice when I use it at night, I wake up and I don't look like death, so that's like the best thing ever. Um, last thing I do is I use the Sunday Riley UFO oil. And this is 2% salicylic acid acne treatment. Is it 2%? Just kidding, <laughs> it's 1.5% uh, salicylic acid acne treatment. And it's a dry oil, so it dries really quickly, but it's good for the treatment of like, blackheads, regular acne. I think it works great for cystic acne. Again, another product I've been using for like a super long time. A glowing goddess, hey. <laughs> and usually I like it when my face is like, no, a little damp, a little dewy um, if I'm wearing makeup, which I've been wearing makeup more often recently. I don't know. I usually go kind of like more makeup free in the summer and wear makeup in the winter. Also, I've just been liking like the self-expression with it. Is that so? I know that's like, I, I don't know. I think it's fun. I like it. I like my face too, but makeup can be fun. Um, so lastly, I'll use some sort of like... Uh, I don't know, spray. I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Spray. Um, I have, where is it? Oh, the Glow Essence from Coco Kind. And then I also have this one, which is the Tower 28 Beauty Spray. And I'm just gonna use that one today. This one's really good for acne as well. It kind of smells like pool water, but like in the best way possible. I was a lifeguard, so I kind of love pool water. Um, this one says it uses HOCL, naturally occurring component found in your body's internal defense system, 100% pure and natural, so your body knows what to do with it. It's love for skin no matter what state it's in. Agreed. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and then my lips. I'll usually prep them if I'm wearing like a lipstick or something. Let's see. Here we go. 
So this is just like the Agave Bite Beauty Lip Balm. Okay. That's it. So that is my updated morning routine. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. It's pretty much what I do every morning. Um, it doesn't really take that long. I feel like this video made it take longer because I do like this where I have to wait two minutes. I say it takes about like 10 minutes. I don't think that's very long in the grand scheme of things. Um, here's again what my skin is looking like. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Um, I haven't dealt with acne like this in literally a year and a half. Yeah, probably. Oh, probably because I'm just putting my hand all over my face. That's why, right? All right. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I didn't even do an intro because fuck it. So cheers. Good morning. Good afternoon or night whenever you're watching this. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions down below. Don't forget, if you want to use anything from Vanish or purchase anything, uh, use my code for sure. That's like the best shit you'll ever put on your face. Please don't put shit on your face. <laughs> but, okay, okay, okay. That's all I got. All right, bye guys. Bye. Oh yeah, thanks for watching. Duh, I'm so rude. And subscribe.